you guys, it's Toro Sucks here. I'm just going to be an application review about Pixelmator. Um, it is a um, picture making application, much like Adobe Photoshop, but a little bit less sophisticated and a little bit more Mac based and um, Mac interface. As you can see, the windows are a little bit more modern. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a. Uh, on how to make an abstract background. A little bit, not really abstract, but your own touch to it. I'm going to click File, New. Um, I'm going to make mine. You can make it the size of your monitor. I have two monitors here. This is on my uh, second monitor um, from my MacBook. So uh, it is 1280 by 1024. 1024, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to make that. Yep, that's what it is. Um, so, then, you're going to make... I'm just going to make a couple of new layers. So, because for some reason I always forget... Uh, for some reason I always forget to make a new layer and it messes you up in the uh, process. So, you're going to click Quartz Composer Generator, I believe. Um, gradient, which is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to leave mine at what it is, but you can pick your primary and secondary colors. Move it whatever you want. I'm going to leave mine at gray. Grayish, so it looks like this. Uh, position doesn't really matter. You can change it if you want, though, to make it a little bit... I'm going to keep mine in middle-ish. Right there. So, um... Next layer. You're going to go into layer, or filter. Actually, generator. And... You could do grid, moving shapes. I'm going to actually do fall. It looks kind of cool. You see? Um, I'm going to do a neon sort of thing here. Uh, secondary color. Just keep that at black. It doesn't really matter. Pace. Uh, you can adjust these things. Pace doesn't really matter. Depth does. And zoom in a little bit. Zoom out. Keep mine about right there. Time just changes the width. Actually, no, it doesn't change the width changes the uh, position of the dots, which doesn't really matter in this case. You can change the position of it by moving this, I believe. Yeah. Moving this dot. Keep it over here. Click OK. Next layer. You can go ahead and create another one of those, or you can create moving shapes, which is what I'm going to do. You can click Quartz Composer, Generator, Moving Shapes. Um, and what it does is it has this image in the background. Primary color, I'm going to change it to black. Yeah, I'll change it to black. Uh, time, let me see. Changes the position of the shapes. Pace, doesn't change anything. Um, so yeah, but what, what you're going to do is now you can only see this layer. So you're going to make the opacity like right about there. So you can still see the shapes in the background, but it looks kind of cool. So, um, yeah, you can add, this is a basic wallpaper, um, but you can add a lot, diff a lot, um, a lot of different effects to it by going into filter, play with these in distortion, blur, stylize, uh, quartz composer is really cool and you see all these different effects down here. Like you can do a blur, Gaussian, change your blur effects, blur the background, everything. I'm just bl blurring this layer because that's what I had selected right here. But yeah, you can change, play with these effects, you guys. Um, I'm actually going to say this wallpaper because it's pretty cool. But, you know, you can do anything you want with Pixelmator. Um, if you don't have it, I'm sorry this tutorial didn't help you out, but it is a really cool application. So this is the outcome of my wallpaper. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.